What does a Lyme disease rash look like? Many people assume that a bullseye or erythema migraine rash is a common manifestation of Lyme disease and that the lack of a rash confirms a person does not have the disease. This is far from the truth. EM rash identification remains a challenge because it often takes a variety of appearances according to a study by Burlina and colleagues. The authors found only 20% of patients with an EM rash in the United States presents with lesions that have the central clearing of a classic target lesion that is a ring within a ring or bullseye, according to the authors. Instead, the majority of EM lesions appeared uniformly red or bluish red in color and lack central clearing. Unfortunately, a Lyme disease rash may look like lesions found in other disorders. For instance, patients with Lyme disease may be misdiagnosed as having a cellulitis rash. The treatment for cellulitis is not necessarily effective for Lyme disease. Furthermore, between 4% and 8% of Lyme disease rashes present with blistering. These cases can be misdiagnosed as shingles, a viral infection that causes blistering and is treated with antiviral medications. Shingles treatment is not effective in treating Lyme disease. Lastly, about 20% of patients have multiple EM rashes at the time of the diagnosis due to the Lyme spirochete disseminating to other areas of the body. This presentation can be confused with erythema multiforma or other skin disorders. In practice, I treat with an antibiotic if there is uncertainty, as the consequences of missing a diagnosis of Lyme disease can be serious. If the rash is questionable, I often treat with antibiotics that would be effective for either Lyme disease or possibly another condition. For example, I might treat a patient with a rash that could be cellulitis or Lyme disease with an antibiotic that works for both conditions. I might use cefuroxine rather than Keflex. I typically treat these cases longer if Lyme disease is a consideration rather than just 10 days for cellulitis. Finally, I have also treated patients with a combination of it an antiviral medication called Veltrex and cefuroxine if I'm not sure whether the rash is related to shingles or Lyme disease.